All right, we're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Vincent's going to be late, so here we go. Do you want to start with the roll call for us? That's Taryn usually does it. Oh, sorry. Okay. I can do Did, that. Didn't know. Okay. Committee member Sherman? Here. Committee member Burke? Here. Committee member Stanton? Here. Committee member Stephen, I don't know how to say your last name. Uh, Shebrill. Here. Shebrill. Here. Okay. And Vincent is not here. Okay. And uh, Councillor Hughes. Here. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. So um, we'll go ahead and start with did everyone get to look over the minutes from last month's meeting? And does anyone have a motion? Make a motion to approve. I will make that motion. Someone second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, next is citizens' comments and concerns. We, have, we don't have anybody online or anybody here. So keep going. And it goes to our committee 101 training. So you're up. Also, welcome, Shirley. Oh, thank you. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and hit the space. Um, okay, so the council is the legislative and policy making board for the city. And um, the city code outlines the authority and functions of your board. So the, basically the council tells you what your role is and then they make decisions about then you make recommendations to them. Um, there's a few things that are in the code that apply to just about every uh, one of the committees, and that is that you will have a uh, annual work plan, and then you will have a budget that you prepare and you submit to the city. Um, and you'll need to select a chair and vice chair at your first meeting of the year. I'm assuming you did that at your last meeting. Okay, great. Go ahead and hit next. Uh, here is the code that outlines your responsibilities. I don't know that I need to read this whole thing to you. It is in the city code and, and you can have a chance to read it at your leisure, but it just talks about what the city council has set for you guys as, as the parameters of what you should be doing. So, you know, to make recommendations about parks and um, activities and some things like that. Okay, next. So some general... Oh. Well, suddenly got loud. <laughs> General expectations. Read the packet prior to the meeting. Arrive to the meetings on times. If you're going to be absent, notify your staff person. And if you no longer have the capacity to serve on the board, um, to resign to allow somebody else to serve. So if things change and this no longer fits in your schedule, just let us know. That's better than, you know, having, having absent board members. Okay, next. Um, your committee has a staff support. It is Taryn. I think most of you already know Taryn and you have her contact information. Um, she's responsible for managing your AV equipment and helping you uh, create and post agendas and packets to the website. Um, she could assist with minutes or background research, but any tasks need to be assigned by her supervisor. So anything, the extra that you need help with her, it has to run through her supervisor. Uh, now we get into the fun stuff, the legal obligations. So uh, notice must be provided for all meetings and meetings must be open to the public. And that includes a virtual option for attendance, which we use Zoom, as you know, um, and then minutes must be created. So the state says that committees and commissions are considered advisory boards and they're public bodies. So they have to follow public body law. Next. Um, a quorum is a majority of members. So in your case, that would be three, right? One, two, three. Yeah, three. Um, and a meeting is anytime there is a quorum who deliberates on board issues. This is true if you are at events that are not necessarily meetings. So if you are all at, let's say, a school baseball event, you cannot discuss anything that would come before your board at that event or else that would constitute a public meeting. Um, this, if you do not have a quorum for a scheduled meeting, you'll need to reschedule it. You can't make any decisions without a quorum. Um, if you are doing any work groups or subcommittees, 
uh, you need to make sure that those do not have a quorum. And this is a great way to bring in people to help you know, support your, your committee and potentially move into committee positions later. So it's a great opportunity to bring in um, extra volunteers. So all meetings, except for emergency meetings, and I can't imagine why you guys would have an emergency meeting, uh, should have at least 72 hours notice. Um, as you know, meetings are broadcast via Zoom. And then be careful with emails and other communications because they, they, that can also constitute a public meeting. So if you have an email and you reply all, now suddenly that email becomes a public meeting. And so we want to avoid that. Can Next. I ask a, can I ask a question? Yes, ask so any like, questions. For example, when we were supposed to do sprint into spring mm -hmm. and it snowed, mm -hmm. like we all had to email each other mm -hmm. to decide to like cancel it or postpone it. Like that's okay, right? Yes. Like, okay. Yeah. Because we do, we've done things like that. When, when it, when it's like <coughs> setting up meetings, setting okay. meeting times, but if it's something that's nest, like would come before the board, that would be okay. something that you're, you can't discuss over. I understand. Thank you. Right. Yeah. I mean, to follow up on it, it said that if there's not a quorum, it doesn't count as a meeting. Correct. So uh, I, like, I had a few things that I thought of, I made notes to myself, but yeah. I didn't mention them to anyone for just this reason to make sure that it wasn't violating any of that. But if I was to go to Vincent and say, hey, here's a couple of things I think we should put on the agenda for the next meeting, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. And if, yep. there's, if there's a little back and forth to refine what those items are, that's okay. Yep. yep. All right. Um, you, and that comes into public records. So um, any writing in any form related to the business of the board is considered a public record. So that includes your emails to each other. Okay. And anytime there is a public record, it is open to a public records request, which means anyone from the public can come in and request any of your information, even if it is on your personal emails that is related to the business of the board. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I say art and park. We, yeah, yeah, we posted. Yeah. It's already on Facebook. Yeah, so yeah, the city. Yeah. I, mean, I have Facebook, but you got yeah. people that you know, other people through the school and stuff. Like, you mean like share? Hear you on the recording. <laughs> like share? You mean like sharing the share, post? Yeah. Sharing. Um, yeah. Like I used to share with uh, schools with Art in the Park, mm -hmm. and I had the Art in the Park mm -hmm. meetings. Uh, the things I'd always go to the art teachers at the schools mm -hmm. and talk to them, and then they would. Put it in the school papers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we shared it with them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for social media, the yeah. you the committee has a social media. They have a Facebook page, yeah. and you send that information to Taryn, and Taryn posts it. Yeah. Um, if you wanted to share that on your personal page, just sharing it is fine. But if you start having conversations about it, it could it could be pervy to a public records request. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, and you do have, if you if you didn't know, you generally it's your chair in your committee. There is a email set up for the committee. Um, I would recommend to prevent or kind of go around uh, having to have your personal email ever being subject to a records request is to CC the city email, and then all communications are in that city email. So if you have anything you're communicating with each other, let's say you're communicating with an outside vendor, you're going to have like popcorn at your art in the park and you're communicating with outside vendor that can either go directly through your um, arts, your not arts, park. sorry, parks, your park email, or you can CC the park email. That way we have a record of all of your communications and it's easy for us to access. And then we don't have to go into your personal emails to access that information. And I wasn't aware of that we have, so we have our own accounts with the city. There's, there's one for the committee. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm pretty sure Vincent, if he doesn't already, he will have the login set up okay. for that. It used to go to Brent and then he would like send to us when a right. person sent. Yeah. What is that email? You know, I think it's, it's like PARC yes. at city of Estacada. Dot org. It's on the website. It's very straightforward. It makes a lot of sense, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like the email it should be. Uh, okay. Um, can, as, as I said earlier, you're considered public officials. And so you also must act in the accordance with the Oregon ethics laws that apply to public officials. 
So this prohibits you from gaining financial or preventing a financial loss as a result of your position. Um, so this comes into conflict of interest. If you're doing an event and you, your son, your spouse, um, they are someone you could hire to do this event, you would have to declare that as a conflict of interest and recuse yourself from having that discussion or voting on that issue. Uh, okay, so go ahead and here, here is some potential and actual conflicts. And this is, this is mostly related to planning commission, but I think you can kind of look between the lines and see how this would relate to your work in that. Um, so a potential conflict, the effect could be a financial benefit or prevent financial harm to yourself, um, but it doesn't necessarily. So in this case, the example says you own property, which would be impacted by a change in zoning regulations but the property is not for sale. You're not planning on, on selling the property. You're not planning on developing. So it's not gonna have an immediate financial impact or loss or uh, prevent a financial loss to you. However, if that property is for sale, then um, it would have an immediate financial impact. So you would have to, if it's potential, you just have to declare yourself um, and announce publicly before discussion and then you can participate. However, if it's an actual conflict, if you will at that moment when you make the decision have a financial impact to you, you will have to announce it and then abstain from any discussion or decision-making. Uh, this is pretty straightforward, but you are appointed as a, to represent the public at large and keep this in mind when you have discussions with your fellow members, because each member brings an important point of view and many points of view produce good policies as they better represent differing demographics and interests in the community. Uh, the code of conduct is included in your packet. On the last page is a signature page, which I would appreciate if you would all sign and get back to me. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple, you know, the, the kind of stuff you learned in kindergarten, be civil, be polite, uh, you know, avoid making personal comments about each other or the public, that kind of thing. And that is the end of my presentation. Are there any questions? Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Next thing is actually for you guys again, because it's yep. the Wade Creek Park phase three grand opening. So that's you. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's the infinite. You're sharing your screen and you're on Zoom. So it's resharing your it. Oh, yeah, when I taught online, that mm -hmm. happened before. Mm -hmm. and you're, you're in the recursion <laughs> tunnel. The mm -hmm. infinite window. <clears throat> there you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that'll that'll be interesting on the video if that if that recorded. <laughs> Some entertaining. Um, so we have picked a date for the Wade Creek Park Three Grand Opening. We're super excited. It will be June fourth, from one to three p.m., um, which is a Sunday. And so we're hoping that you guys would like to be involved in that. We're really excited. What we would really love if you guys were willing to lead some tours on the new park. Uh, that would be fantastic. And if you are willing and able, you have that time in your schedule, if you could let um, myself or Taryn know, and we will be more than happy to help you figure out like a, like a little tour guide thing that you can read if you don't feel comfortable, you know, making it up on your own, but we would love if you can help with that. Um, our plan right now is from one to one thirty to do the kind of ribbon cutting and official speeches that we'll have. Um, and then from 1.30 to 3, um, Rob said he'll bring his band and we'll have some music and we'll have a face painter and uh, maybe ice cream. So it'll it'll be a fun time. We're very excited. Thank you. Yeah. I'm excited because then we saw the skate came down and my kids, they want to get back there. We haven't gotten back there yet. Have you got back Both there? My kids have gone back. And they're yeah. 14 and 16. They're very excited. <laughs> we may have gone back there before the gate. <laughs> you were one of those. The people back there riding bikes. So. I'm excited. That's awesome. I think we should be. I think that's the day that my girls come back from Girl Scout camp. So we should be able to be there. Anyone time, but I'll let you guys know. Fantastic. That's awesome.
All right, moving right along. Um, next is discuss participation in what's up Estacada. So I know Vincent. Yeah. I know <coughs> Vincent has gone. Have I've, you? I have never been. Um, they managed to schedule it like <laughs> consistently when I have something else that's like critical. Like I keep wanting to go, but it's 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 just always. I'm able to go. I'm going to be there anyhow because Merrick is tabling for B City, and so um, because I don't work, I have that time. I'd be happy to go and talk about probably like, art in the park and maybe the, the grand opening. opening. Mm -hmm. What is this? <clears throat> What's up, Estacada? It's a oh, that. Yeah. quarterly meeting. Yeah. Is it going to be here at the city hall? I uh, know it's at the right? library in the it's, new it's building, right? New building. Yeah. Yeah. Like yes. <laughs> yeah, it's in the new building on May 15th. May 15th and so it'll be uh 11 30 to 1, I think. Yeah, so like that's midday on yeah. Monday. Uh, Monday. The Monday. Okay, mm -hmm. I think I can actually do that. Like, but I, I will be there anyhow, so I'm happy to do that. Yeah. I probably will too. Let me see. I don't have a doctor's Right, so we will be out of town. That's Maybury. It is. I don't have that. All right, sprint into spring recap. So I couldn't go with the rescheduled date. Nor in I? Houston. So how did it go? It was fun. We had all the weathers. They all showed up. <laughs> um, if you walked it, you it was literally like you got sun and sideways rain and hail and everything. We if you ran it in less than 25 minutes then you got you actually got like a nice weather window uh for having to move it a week we actually had a pretty decent turnout um everyone wore their shirts awesome. it was a lot of fun so no, it was a really good time and it was just like good positive feedback uh from people and uh yeah it felt and it was kind of cool there was someone that was saying how it's like yeah i've done a couple of 5k things before but this is like my first real race and i was like oh we did a real race. They called it real. That's yeah. exciting. Uh, do you know how many people can't like uh, uh, do you have an idea? I like, don't recall. It was it was probably it was like similar to last year, but given the attrition of yeah. moving it, um, it went pretty well. Not as many kids. Like there were like a handful of kids that I it. think weather probably contributed mm -hmm. yeah. to that part. Um on that, I if we if we wanted to change the course um, and if we have the ability to do like single lane closures and stuff, I actually thought of a really nice 5K course. I went out and measured it, uh, which basically goes around town. And the nice thing is that it hits technically three parks. So it's like you kind of start over by the fire department over here in like that parking lot. Mm -hmm. Like people could park there, start there, and then you'd go make a right up the hill which it's so it's it's the same elevation gain total as the other course but you just do it in one shot and it's kind of a fun feature of a race like that to have something like that well, at the game. beginning yeah and then the rest of, and that's the thing is and then the rest of it's really fast and you basically take shafford out to six go broadway go through campanella and then you come down eagle creek by wade creek come back down broadway and then basically you get to bomb down broadway and it finishes um, <laughs> Kind of near near the start, but it's sort of actually oh, it finishes at the bike. Oh, and that's it's cool. almost exactly I, like I measured five k from that, and it, uh, it would be good to go out and actually wheel it and get the 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 true measurement of it. But and then it's a single, it's just and then no it's loops. a one way course. It, it's a, with uh, weird loops. <laughs> it also makes it more attractive as like it's like a real city five k, and it's, it, so you just... could put a little more into it and. I think we'd get a little more competition out of it that way. I actually see more of the city that way. Yeah, exactly. You're not just seeing a, a neighborhood. I think it'd be a really fun course to run. Well, I mean, it is a fun course to run because I've gone out and done it a few times. I wonder if we can do two back behind the library and include that. How, yeah, what's that I, path like, though? I haven't, I haven't obviously been back there, so I don't know how that. Yeah, I was wondering, but I think in order to do that, uh, I, I was thinking about having something that goes through Wade Creek rather than yeah. just by it. Um, you would just have to take something off, oh, like I yeah. either start at the hill, which is okay, because there's that grass lawn right there by the yeah. fire department, and you can kind of stage people there, and then just be, and then just be like, up oh, first know. thing. But then it makes it so it's like it's done right That's away. That's true. Separates the field out. 
Um, what about the shirts, Stephen? Did you were you guys able to sell most? Did more people buy them? With more people the QR did buy code? them. I still haven't expensed them yet. I still need to do that. Okay, I'll buy. Are there are there more? Yeah, I'll buy one. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm glad the QR code worked. Yeah, and they were able to buy them. Excellent. Anything else about Sprint? Just Sprint. We weren't there. I you weren't go. there. I was there. Oh, were you there? Yeah. Yay. I didn't run, but I was there. <laughs> Good. Thank you. I know I was supposed to be there and then it yeah. snowed and we were going to Hermiston the next weekend. So yeah. neither, neither of my children were injured this time. That's no. good. That's a better record than the yes. past races. Excellent. All right. Art in the park planning. Um, so I just looked at we have what did I write down? 12 people signed up so far to do art in the park. Um my question for all of you is in the past we've done where we've accepted them if they come later, because this is, I think the date it says is tomorrow, the 27th. Um, and I know like there's two boys at the daycare that they've been working on stuff for months and their thing isn't here, which surprises me. Um, so do we want to, ex like if kids come, are we going to let them do it as long as we get them to sign one? We always did. Yeah. yeah, I think so because my kids are also working on stuff and I don't think we've done. Yeah, yeah your form's not in here either. Yeah. I brought mine today. Yeah. Okay. So, so everyone they have to bring their own stuff to set up. So yes. they just would get not the priority placing. Well, I mean, right. it, I don't, I mean, I, I guess mean, whenever they get there, they people. get there. I don't imagine there's going to be too many no. people. But. And I know, I know part of it might be too. So like, my children, I think we talked about before, like Haley has um, a softball tournament that whole weekend. I don't have any schedule for it. So she's been told that she might be doing everything she's planned and we might not be there at all. Um, like I can still come over and, and help, but she might not participate. So I'm wondering if there's some kids that have that situation going on too, um, of like the parents are trying to wait and see. But this is a pretty good number. I think that's about how many kids we had last year. Uh, and the age range is pretty good. That's a good number for them. Actually, this is two kids that they're selling together. Um, and, and I don't see the one, you know, we had that one question about mm -hmm. cotton candy. And I don't know that that one's in here either. Um, who all is able to be there? So it's 11 to 1 on the 6th. Uh, yeah, we're planning on. We'll, You're going to be there? We'll, yeah, we're planning on participating. Okay. Yeah. I most likely will not be there. There's a chance plans will fall through, but more than likely I'm doing something else. I can do that. Since I live around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and like I said, I, you know, last time I was like, I had all the forms and I was the one that was there. And we'll see what Vincent can do to. Um, because I don't know with Haley's schedule, like I still want to come help, but um, it will be here her softball games. I just don't know when. So I'm hoping it's not during that two hour time frame. Um, we love it. So everyone's good with we'll accept more. Yeah. Okay. And um, I think before we did, bar I know we did, we came and borrowed some pop-ups from the city. Um, just in case kids didn't have them. Like we say, they have to bring their own table and everything, but we can kind of look and see what the weather's doing and make a decision on that. Does anyone know what it says? That's still a little bit out, but I bet it says. They also have the gazebo. They could use sections of that too. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, last time it was just a little iffy and most of the kids brought their own pop-ups, but it was nice having a couple extra. Um, oh, wow. Weather forecast change for Friday. <laughs> it's going to be warm. Uh, it says it's supposed to rain. 36% chance of rain right now on Saturday. So maybe we can figure out if someone can get the pop-ups. And depending on my schedule, it might be me. Um, or maybe Stephen, maybe you can. I might be able to dig ours out of the garage if I can find it. Well, we have, is it five, four or five that the city has that we borrowed before? Yeah, Do you remember? I think we had five. But yeah, there's, there's, yeah a there's a good them. amount. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like we have one my daughter can, yeah. my two girls can use and you have yours, yeah. So I think we'll be okay if we borrow those ones. 
Um, and like I said, a lot of the ones last last year brought their own. Um, anything else on art in the park? No? Do we need to touch base with the uh, Arts Commission? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, I have information from the Arts Commission. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that piece. Um, yes, Deborah actually sent me a couple other people are going to be working on it. Um, Jesse Kerr and where's the other name? Um, and Vince, I'm not sure what his last name is, um, but they definitely plan, they're gonna bring everything that they need. Um, and their plan is to do a couple of different things, um, do like a demo. They're possibly doing a demo of graffiti art, doing some sort of messy art project for the young kids and they're doing the button making again. Sorry, Sorry. I forgot that piece. So that was really cool last yeah. time. Um, so yes, they will be there and doing that. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. So there's a question like that, for example, I'm glad. So like we reached out to the arts commission because we do, like we're doing this jointly. Mm -hmm. They decided on what they wanted to do at their meet. Like there's not really a decision being made, like me communicating with them about it. That's is that okay? You can communicate with them about it. I, the only thing is it, your personal email, if you're doing it from your personal email, could be subject to okay. public records request. Okay. And that's where you should CC the park email. Just CC is the new thing. Got yep. It. I yep. will do that. Um, yeah, because they like they talked in their meeting about what they wanted to do. And yep. then we just, okay. perfect. All right. Anything else about art in the park? I'm excited. I hope I can be there the whole time because it's one of my favorite things. Oh. Do you guys have like, you know, water and stuff? We always, if I can get Jay, we always had donated water or Gatorade for him to oh. drink. I can talk to Jay at Get and Go and see if I can mm. get some uh, stuff for yeah, him. That's fine. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the only thing is if he needs a receipt for it, then that would have to go through. No, he won't. Okay. He's my neighbor. He does what I say. <laughs> <laughs> I take care of his dog. <laughs> All right. Um, now we're at last thing. Quest Takeda. That's you. Uh, chipping away at it. I, uh, I, I put the, we got the actual categories in the database. It is finished. I had to write a bunch of code to make sure that it worked the right way and appeared correctly on every device. That's all done. Um, I did a bunch, I, I went back through all the type treatment and did some artwork for each section and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just, I wanna, uh, my goal is to basically finish it this month so that we can have it, or not, sorry, not this month, it's still April. It's, the month, it's pretty May. much May. It's May. Yeah. I, uh, but finish it by Memorial Weekend is when I'm shooting for it. And, you know, uh, that way we can use that weekend to maybe like even just kind of do some laminated, laminated QR codes out there and just get kind of a pilot going. Are they doing summer celebration this year? In town? No. No? No, they're going to do uh, their art and music like oh, they really? did, similar to they did last year. All right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe next meeting you can like show us the yeah i can show you where it's at the, um, I, I i don't have my changes published anywhere right now um but i can start doing that that'd be cool um that was really fast anybody else have anything i have a question yeah for the what's up sdk i noticed there's a form that we need to fill out yes mm. we could discuss what i should put on that <laughs> um so that's decided. Let's do that. So what topics will we provide information about? So you're going to provide information about. Oh, wait, but this is. Won't do art the park, no, after yeah, it's after Art in the Park. But yes. talk about the grand, opening. the grand opening and like summer concerts. Yep, I think that's a great idea. Anything else that needs to go? I think that's the two main things. I wonder if we can even maybe have a little flyer for the concerts. It says you can. 
the city will print color outreach material if the materials are received by May 5th. Oh, look at that. Do we yeah. have materials? We well, can we can do materials. the, you know, we have the email, I think, that has all yeah. the names of the bands and the dates. Okay. And we could even just do that. Make a flyer and send it. Yeah. That'd be easy. And yeah. is the plan now to use the park for the concerts? Do you know that? But we had talked about mm -hmm. last year was the hope to have a concert or two there. So uh, this will be our test run with Rob's band. Okay. And so we'll see how that works. Okay. I, 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 we had some questions about the electricity and making sure everything's ready to go. And okay. so I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm going right. to say, we'll see. <laughs> we'll just say at Wade Creek Park. It's yes. all Wade Creek Park. Yep. There we okay, go. Gotta, there's the amphitheater. What? Are they going to be using the amphitheater for that? For for the grand opening, that's the plan. Is they'll they'll be using yeah, the amphitheater. I'm sure they have electricity there. Then. Uh, that we we do. I'm just not. I don't know if it's you know the right amperage and everything that we need for the the band the all band the, all their all equipment. their equipment. Yes. It's, it so. is a lot of stuff, and the stages. Mm -hmm. It's nice when we use the stage. Mm -hmm. Um, what questions? Will we be asking the public? Do we need to ask any? I mean, we could if we wanted to ask like what events they want. We sit here and figure out what we think they would want with our runs and art right. in the park. Like we could ask. Is there anything suggestions? any suggestions the public has on events they would like to see in the city or things they would like to see from the commission? Maybe see um, after the school have a concert with the with the the band, the skater band or skater choir, and have them come in and do a concert at the park for the kid for everybody. That would put the school out, the band and the school and the band and the choir are doing excellent right now. Do you know? Um... I'd have to get all the music teacher probably. Yeah. Do you have connections with that? I know you have connections with some people and. High school, middle school, do you have? I don't. Great. My husband, I'm sure, knows both. Yeah, he worked in the high school. Um, during the summer, the issue is are they around and can they collect enough people to make to it, it happen? And the music teacher's not. Well, they could do it working. in the fall, too. It doesn't have yeah. to be summer. But that wouldn't be for, for that. For the we could reach out in the future and see if that's something that yeah, they want. Kids come in the park and play just to be playing. Um, oh, it could be like 11 by 17 and just be like a little sign or a big sign that says the concert date. So it's eight and a half by 11. I was thinking well, eight and a half. Yeah, and I was thinking that we could not half and half. I was thinking five that, that you take the take flyer that you. you take. Yeah, but I was thinking. We can probably, we can ask Karen. Bye. Yeah, because she'll be back. That's a short trip. Um, anything else that you guys think we should send out with that? I like that we're having this planning time. I feel like I get those emails that are like, "What's up, Esticada? Is coming? Do you want to come?" Yeah, I like that we can plan. Stephen, anything else that you think? Uh, a couple yeah. little things. Yeah. Oh, I mean. About this first, and then we'll go little things. Do you have okay. anything else for the What's Up Best Cicada? No. We don't have any other events until the fall, which means next meeting we should start talking about about the, the run in October. Because we're yeah, going to plan ahead this break. year. Yeah, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. Okay. Um, is anyone else know for sure that they will go? Should I put anyone else's name on it? Or I'll just put my own and then we can ask Vincent. someone else shows up. I know 100% okay? I will not be there. I'll be there. Are you? May, May 15th. Are we talking about May 15th? Yes. Okay. All right. I should be able to go okay. unless I have a work commitment. I can come. I usually don't have a work so commitment. Sure. So urgent that I can't. Yeah, but... yeah that's, that's just for them. us to know how many tables and chairs. Okay. All right, Stephen, what did, um, do you have some commission comments? Yeah, it's kind of, uh, I was wondering, um, I'm not, I'm not on social media or anything, so I don't uh, know 
what communication has happened back to the Campanella community about like park plans? Because we've talked about how we aren't doing the splash pad there. Mm -hmm. We're not to do probably not, we're not doing pickleball there, right? Mm -mm. If we take this out. So has I'm asking because when we were doing the race, someone had yeah. a had the don't parks and rec our green space sign yes. up and it was yeah. like, well, we're not going to. No, we we listen to you and we're not gonna do it. But I, I just want to know if we've actually been, if we've correctly communicated that to the community. I think that the people that were really involved in it came and heard what happened, but we're still waiting on that drawing from um, Stephen Shipley, right? Is making us another, our like newest drawing. But I don't know that anything was ever, because the park is still happening. It's just modified. And I yeah. think the people that were really concerned about it, I think we're here when we made yeah, all those decisions. I don't think in general, yeah. like the general. In the, um, in the, in the original uh, park plans for that park in there. Okay, when we built that, contractor had the right to build this much park. Mm -hmm. And the city had eight acres to fill in. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I we planned it. We planned it all and put everything that we wanted. And then when we got the drawings back, mm -hmm. um, and then there was oh, a I, lot of that's um, why it, was way, we, it, it, it sounded like the developers weren't very clear in yes. their communication of yeah. what was going to go back there. And yeah. but you know, what we're not going to just ruin. Yeah, so they were whatever. told. The what the one thing that we're looking at is building a sign that says "Park Coming." And when we get the plans back and putting it up there so yeah. that people, you know, who aren't on social media, who didn't attend the meeting, yeah. know. It's kind of That'd split with the uh, Campanellas because I know there's a lot of young, young people mm -hmm. that really, really want to do it. And then we have um, in between senior citizens, you know, but most of the senior citizens are on the fence line. Yeah, that's yeah. the, the... And it's the, uh, yeah, it's the uh, middle, but not young, not old, but. Yeah. other ones and um they said well the real estate person told me that and i says you know what if the real estate person told you that then they are the ones that you should be talking to yeah yeah they were they were told that it was going to stay at green space so yeah it's understandable uh and kind of adjacent to that uh i was just talking to this about truly a little bit but um we mentioned the positive the portal before and just mm -hmm. like we it was mentioned in passing but um we should do a little bit of a thought experiment of like what um it would be like to move some of these the the noisier things that don't seem to be fitting in other places um it doesn't it seems like it might be a good spot for it just because it's like other than the fact that there are people across the river that would have to be considered um yeah. it seems like a place that's not right up against residences where it would cause problems like yeah. noise issues well and i know this is perfect timing vincent because i feel like that you know the answer to this question i feel like with the pickleball courts going we're talking about the stuff happening at the portal uh -huh. the pickleball courts wasn't that something that like brent was going to look into a little bit more even though he wasn't here anymore and like share yeah brent said uh because they have one like pretty solid like fan base for pickleball yeah. like in the community right. so those uh that those community members we're talking to brent and brent was doing some some research on the side yeah. so he hasn't i haven't said anything i'll probably i'll try to get i'll send him an email and see because he was going to pass it along once he had his information and just pass it along to me and then uh, yeah. i was going to see what it was and then we can look at it going forward yeah i i've i've Oddly learned more about it than I ever wanted to. Just I said I suddenly know people who play it. Um and apparently there's there there's different equipment you can get. And it's like the noise issue is a real issue like everywhere. And so there is like it's like not as good to play with, but there are there's equipment that's like the ball and the racket that mm -hmm. and surfaces and everything that are a little more dampening. Uh, and so there are actual courts where it's just like you have to use this equipment and then they're made out of stuff that's like more dampening and then they just make them smaller or something like yeah. that so that I don't remember exactly what it was but but there there's a quieter version and then a lot of places are also just like they you just can't play after like they just have narrow hours 
Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the portal is really the best place for those noisy things. Like pickleball. there are people across the river. Yeah, I, I, th I think um, we'd want to go across the river with like a decibel meter and, you know, and emulate that. And on top of that, like I was telling him, uh, as of May 1st, it's a five dollar car. I heard that. And I mean, I told the I told the sports people they need to go talk to Tony up at the PGE and see if they can get some kind of break for the yeah. for the kids. Yep. But also, um, you know, people that's are going to want to pay five dollars, they're going to be parking over at Way Creek, and we can't stop them because it's a public park. They try the. Oh, you mean they're going to park at the portal parking yeah. lot to walk in yeah, to. Yeah. And we, uh, the city stopped them one time for the, for the Fourth of July, and, and that was a thing. But you can't stop these people. This is a public park. They can park there. And as far as putting, uh, and besides losing the trees and stuff down there too, but uh, that park, I we go there all the time and. It's not the best environment for kids because you've got you've got the disc players, and some of them aren't really very well mannered. As far as I think the portals on the the portals side, on this on, side, but they on, park in the portal. Timber park. So oh, play at Timber Park. Yeah, Timber Park yes. is going to start charging a fee. It's a fee oh, okay, as five dollars, and you know, blame well, that's where they're going is next door. And yeah. on the street, there's plenty of parking. Huh? There's plenty of parking in Portal Park. I don't. I don't think we're going to run into an issue with parking anytime soon. The portal is that like the furthest one from like any like residents? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, 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 that's why it's it's yeah. like yeah. okay. It's it's like let's let's make our our. Or our fun list of like what are all the things that people want but just not at yeah. by their house yeah not like <laughs> in, in the community yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. What, one, what's loud the that's vacant fun. lot that you come in there is that part of the portal park the which one one okay you come in mm -hmm. and on the left there's a big vacant lot i mean there's nothing there but trees and uh it's uh yeah, on the it's, left it's just so like restaurant. you turn so like when you yeah. turn in and then it's on the left yeah and right like there. the rest is that part of portal park i I, I if i'm thinking about where you're talking about yeah because that, that would be an ideal place for the for yeah the only problem is you got the sewer down there too yes have you ever if, been there in the summertime <laughs> well yeah but that would be ideal for the pickleball yeah. part <laughs> that way you'd only be taking out well they've already taken out a few trees down there you're going to be taking out maybe six or seven trees, but if you put it over in the portal park, that it's all uneven. It's uh, there must be twenty trees that would have to come down. Interesting. So, but uh, it I'd rather have the pickleball down there instead of the water park. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll see what I'll, I'll yeah. get in touch with Brent. I'll see what he said, yeah. what, what they were thinking about, and then I'll I'll probably send an email and yeah, we'll see. Uh, uh, what he said and we can go from there yeah yeah we can talk about it next meeting I think so and um maybe we can all go try and look on yeah. our own so we have it better in our breaks I think I know where you're talking about Shirley which yes is yeah it's vacant. but I don't I want to make sure that there's not something else there that in my brain I'm like missing well there's nothing there but trees yeah and a meter and a meter box because I run my yeah. dog there I, th I think the side between the, the section between the river and the path is pretty clear though Mm -hmm. it's pretty just grassy um so. catch you up so we made it all the way through the agenda okay um we talk i'll tell you when the date is for the opening of the park perfect talked about are you going to be able to be at art in the park yes yeah okay. okay um and then so that's one thing we didn't figure out just real quick is um getting pop-ups for it yeah. are you able to do that or yeah. okay i can bring uh i think i brought i think i, I brought think four last yeah time. i think there was four or five here yeah we had, saying bring them all it's right now it's supposed to rain so okay that's perfect yeah we can bring yeah probably the same number yeah, four or five it had rain in the 90 degrees well last year <laughs> La yeah last year it was both yeah it was both it was like windy and then raining and then sunny and and then yeah. it was like it, it was yeah I, we were wearing puppy coats and 10 minutes later we were, we're just sweating. like raining t-shirts yep yeah welcome to oregon next weekend Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Oh, that's so. Yes. Okay. Perfect. The, okay. the six. The six. Right. Yes. Right. The six. Perfect. Yes. And then six. it. Uh, 
11 to 1. 11 to 1. So mm -hmm. we'll get there like in like 10 and throw up some pop-ups or? Well, what's what we did last time though, we just waited to see because some of the kids brought their own. Oh, and right, then if they didn't right. have them, we were like, hey, we have a pop-up. Would you like to use it? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like first come first serve. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. perfect. I think that'd be good. Yeah, and you guys have the water lines marked so they don't put a tent stake in them. Oh, no, we, okay. we didn't have any. Oh, we didn't have any last time. But yeah, it's right against the sidewalk there. Oh, well, that'd be good to know. Yeah, we'll be careful. <laughs> we didn't stake ours; it blew over. Yeah, we had to stake them for the spring. The spring. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. The wind was crazy, but hopefully it's a bit calmer for this one. We'll see, especially if they have all their supplies and stuff. Did uh, Did we nail down uh, on the? Kid who wanted to do the cotton candy was did we? Were I think they, we said in the email, Karen said it was okay. Okay, yeah. perfect. And I was telling them, so we have twelve right here as of right now. I know that there's a couple more kids, and we agreed together that if other kids come and want to do it and haven't filled out yet, we can just have their parents like sign that they're going to stay with them, and we're all okay with them Great. doing it. Great. Um, did we get a, a few more like older kids too instead of like there just, are like, some okay. um, like this one's an eighth grader there I know I saw a sixth grader in here I know last year I didn't look to see if she was in here again that one the older girl made those really she made like cups like this um yeah, that. that were really neat it's like a this is a that ninth one maybe it's this this like this one's in ninth grade and, and she didn't York. save so yeah. maybe it's her sixth grade there's a couple that don't oh, oh oh leather bracelets and keychains there's some cool stuff so should be good great yeah, yeah. sounds like we're having a decent turnout <laughs> yeah i'm excited all right you have anything okay no, i think i'm good <laughs> where are we at with the splash pad We are uh, looking to see where we can hook up into the sewer system, so that that's going to be a hiccup right now. What? We're we're evaluating sewer hookups for the splash pad. By the maybe by the horseshoe pit where the water lines are already there. The water is the sewer isn't, oh, sure. and we have to have sewer. So it has, like treatment. it has to go through the treatment. It has well, to go through the, the treatment water. process. Yes. Just go into the run the lines into the soil. No, no, it would no. not go into the storm drain. It needs to go into the sewer. Yeah, I mean that was one of the thoughts with the portal too. Is I know that they have a bathroom there has there is water, mm -hmm. and then the treatment plant is right there. So yeah, I'm, I'm wondering. I I don't know what. The treatment take, take plant will be moving, though. What was that? The treatment plant will be moving. Oh. Oh, they're not going to keep both treatment plants? No, no. The The treatment plant over there by the portal will be decommissioned. Good. And there will probably just be a Good. pump station there, so very little, uh, you know, uh, building there. And then be awesome. it'll be moved elsewhere. Because it stinks down there so bad. <laughs> Yeah, and the, the new treatment plant will not be as it, it's a different process, so you won't have the big ponds with the smelly new sure. technology. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. yep, yep, new technology. Or anything else? All good. Okay, I think we're going to adjourn the meeting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Good job. Yeah.